Hello, my name is Maria and this is Matthew, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying mental addition of two-digit numbers, several strat strategies for that. And you already know some of these, so this is partially review. First of all, 60 plus 23. Notice that one of these numbers is a whole 10, six tens. So what we can do is we have the 60 and then we break this number into tens and ones, which is 20 and 3. And then when you're doing this mentally, you add those tens first. 60 and 20, that makes 80, right? There's 80 and then there's the 3, so 83. Again, 47 plus 50. 50 is just whole tens, 5 tens. So this, break this number into two parts, 40 and 7, okay? In other words, I write it here, but you don't write it when you're actually doing this mentally. You don't write this step, of course, you just think it. So we have 40 and 50, which we will add first, and we get 90, and then we have the 7. So the answer is 97. Now this one here shows a different principle, and that is the helping problem idea. 8 plus 6, we remember what it is. It is 14. It is 1, 10, and 4, or it is 4 more than the 10. Now this one here is almost the same. It is 38 plus 6. It has the 8 plus 6, so to speak, in it. The answer will be 4 over the next 10. 4 more than the next 10. So it ends in 4. But here's 30. The next 10 is 40. Okay? 68 plus 6. The same idea. It will be 4 more than the next 10. Okay, so it ends in 4. The next 10 is 70. Try this on your own. Pause the video, okay? 5 plus 7, we remember. It is 12, or we should remember. So it is 2 more than 10. So this one here uses the same principle. It is 2 more than the next 10. 52. And this also will be 2 more than the next 10. 92. You got them? Let's study something a little different. 17 plus 13. The basic idea is that we will add in parts, okay? We will think of this as 10 and 7, and this is 10 and 3. Let me write that, okay? 10 and 7, and 10 and 3. And now you add what is easy, you add the 10 and 10, and then you add the 7 and 3, okay? 7 and 3, of course, makes 10. So actually I have 10 and 10 and 10. So that's 30. Let's try it again. Think of it as 10 and 6. And 10 and 8. And then you add those 10 and 10, of course, so you get 20 from there. But then 6 and 8, you know 6 and 8? That will be 14. And now you have... 20 and 14 to add, which again, you think of it as 20 and 10 and 4. So we get 34. And I'm not saying this is the only way to add this. There are other ways too, okay? You might even just memorize this particular sum, but this is one way. We're going to use the same idea here, okay? The numbers are just bigger. I think of this as 40 and 5. And this one, 30 and 8. And then we add 40 and 30. That's 70. And then 5 and 8, you remember how much that is. It's 13. And now you add 70 and 13, which is 70 and 10 and 3, or 83. The last one. You can do the same, but I'm going to show you a different way. Yet one more different way. And that is... That this 19, it's almost 20, right? It's almost 20, so I'm going to add 62 plus 20 instead. And that is 82, right? The 60 and 20 and 2, 82. But my original problem was 62 plus 19. My original problem is one less than what I actually did. So my answer has to be one less than that, right? So the actual answer is 81, not 82, okay? Those were just like helping problems. Now, we have some arrows here. Oh. 
Oh, Matty. He wants to go jumping. Well, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Maybe later. Okay, okay, go jumping, since you like it. Yeah, it's kind of like jumping on the number line. But we need to figure out here, how big is this jump from 2 to 8? What's the difference of 8 and 2? Yeah, it is 6. This jump was 6 steps. How about from 8 to 14? How big of a jump is that? Yep, again it is 6. I think we have a pattern here where we jump in 60s. So let's put the 60s here. And now we're going to fill in the pattern. 14 plus 6. Okay. That would be 20. 20 and 6. Oh, that's easy. 26. 26 and 6. You can use one of the strategies in this lesson. Add 6 and 6. That's 12. 2 more than 10. So this will be 2 more than the next 10. 32. And lastly, we get to do some puzzles. Aren't you happy, Matthew? Oh yeah, he's thrilled. What numbers are missing here? These are addition problems. The first one is really easy, okay? We have 17 and 49. You know, think of adding your ones. So what goes here? Something plus 7 makes 9. It would be 2, of course. 2 plus 7 makes 9. And then in the tens, 3 tens goes here. 3 plus 1 equals 4 tens. So that was super easy. But this one is not as easy. You want to pause the video and think about it for a little bit. Over here, did you think that 4 goes here? It does not. 4 plus 5 would be 9. Instead, it's kind of tricky because something plus 5 equals 1. How can you have some number plus 5 and just get 1? The answer is that there is a regrouping here. Something plus 5 actually makes 1, 10, and 1, okay? Or 11. So the number goes here is 6. 6 plus 5 makes 11, right? And then 1 plus something plus 2 makes 5. So 2 goes there. How about here? 6 plus something makes 4. Again, a smaller number here. So that must mean we have a regrouping here. It's actually 14. 1, 10, and 4. 6 plus 8 makes 14. And then over here, we would need 5, right? Did I get it right? Matthew says yes. Okay, we're all done with this lesson.